I. Do you know how sometimes we have to hear the same thing over and over in either the same ways or different ways in order to really hear it maybe for the first time? Hi, I'm Janet Kingsley and this is exactly what happened that to me this week. Actually, it happened to someone who was responding to my last video on making a two-stop list. So let me tell you a story about what happened. It's a story of four young women. And they worked at the same company. Two of them worked in the front in an administrative capacity, and two worked in the back in more of a technical capacity. Well, the first young woman was at this company for a year, and it was time for her raise. She got 25 cents an hour, and she was worth a lot more than that, and she did a lot. And so she went out of her comfort zone, and she approached the office manager, and she asked for more money. But the way she asked is, I was hoping for more money. I was thinking that I would like to get a little bit more. And they put her off and they said, well, let's talk to the owner. And one week went by and two weeks went by and three weeks went by. And finally, enough time had gone by. They did come back to her and say, we hadn't forgotten, but we just hadn't had time to talk to the owner yet. Well, enough time went by where this young woman got another job making quite a bit more money. Now, in the meantime, she had a coworker that witnessed all of this and when it came time for her year and her 25 cents an hour raise, she learned from what happened to her friend and coworker. So when it t came time for her raise, she didn't say, I was thinking about, would it be nice if I would like something. Here's what she said. She stepped into her power. She stepped into her confidence and she made a statement. She made a claim and said, this is what I'm expecting. This is what I require. And if you need to get permission, I need it to happen by the time the next paycheck comes around. And guess what happened? She got a dollar fifty an hour raise, not just twenty five cents, a dollar fifty because she claimed and stated what she required. She stated it from a place of power, of confidence, of worthiness, and she gave them some parameters of time. Now, let's move to the other two ladies that are in the back of the office. One person's been there two years. And when her two years came up, instead of a raise, she would just wanted three more vacation days. So she approached them and said, uh, instead of uh, money, I would like, you know, if it would be possible, if it would be okay, three extra days. Absolutely not. We cannot give you an extra vacation because that would be too hard on everyone else. Now, in the meantime... There was another person in the back of the office who's only been there six months, not even entitled to any vacation. Guess what? She approached that same office manager and said, well, I am taking a week off at this time from the here to here, and I'm giving you enough notice so that you can replace me, but I'm doing it. She came from a place of power. She came from a place of confidence. She came from a place of worthiness. So even though those two ladies got out of their comfort zone to ask for what they wanted, they weren't confident in their asking. They were weak. They were tentative. It was as if they were little girls approaching the parent. Now, how does this relate to hearing the same thing over and over and over, uh, but hearing it for the very first time and my two-stop list video? Well, one of the front office girls said, oh my goodness, I get it now. I get it. What I need to stop doing is settling for crumbs. Settling for crumbs. I need to stop acting weak. I need to stop thinking that I am so valueless, even though I know that I have such value, I don't display it. And I settle for whatever is left over. And I've done this again and again and again. And it's like, wow, what a great eye-opener. She's putting that on her two-stop list. And what a great eye-opener it was as well, hello, for me, 
Because how often in my life have I settled for crumbs? Have I settled? Have I taken second place, third place, fourth place, where everyone else's needs, desires, and wants, their dreams, their visions, and their goals became primary to mine in relationships, for example? And I'm settling for crumbs. What are you settling for? What are the crumbs in your life? How can you step in to your power, your fullness, your value? What can you put again on your two-stop list? This was a great reminder for me. I'd love to hear about you and what you might have put on your two-stop list as well. And let's play into our brilliance, our boldness, and live our badass life. Yes! Are you with me? I am ready. It's about time. If not now, it's never going to happen. We can't wish our badass life. We've got to put on our pants and go after it. Anyway, of course, if you like this video, please share it, like it, comment below. Visit my website at www.JanetKingsley.com. And until next time, rock on!